Hey there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and welcome back to another Lightseekers video. I know this is the second one in a row that I've had, but I absolutely had to do this video right now. And do you guys know why? Well, it's because I just got a package in the mail from PlayFusion's headquarters, and it was these. This is the official Astral Starter Deck. They were kind enough to send me one of these um, before they come out at retail. I am so, so happy that they sent me this because I am, I'm just really interested to get my hands on these cards. I haven't watched a single unboxing video for these guys because I want to be absolutely surprised when I open up this box. But they also... They sent me this. They sent me this nice card right here. We can see a lot of the Light Seekers characters on it. And on there it says, Hi Thomas, please find your Astral Starter Deck enclosed. We hope you enjoy playing the uh, trading card game. And please let us know if you have any questions. Signed, the Light Seekers team. So I want to send you guys a huge thank you for sending me this if you're watching. So for sure, thank you so much. Now, this is, like I said, it is the starter deck. Now, normally I would stand up here and I would unbox this for you, but I realized that there's a better way to do this. So I'm going to be right back and I will be in a better position to actually unbox these cards. So be right back. All right, guys. So we're in my kitchen, so there might be a little reverb. This is really the best place I have to unbox this, but hey, it'll do. You can hear me. You can see stuff. So yeah, here is an up close and personal look at the actual front of the package. So on there, we can see that it says it is the official trading card game. Comes with 45 augmented reality trading cards, one starter deck, and one booster pack. Here's, of course, the side. It has one of the characters on it. I'm not sure what his name is. Um, it just talks about kind of how to use the cards. There's another character over there on, that, on the other side. And on the back, it's got all kinds of information in it. It says it's a starter deck, so it comes with a hero card, five combo cards, and 30 action cards, so you can battle offline and scan for AR effects, rewards, and in-game abilities. Comes with a unique tribute card that you can share and scan and share with friends to increase its power. Comes with a booster pack, which includes a hero, a rare card, two uncommon cards, and five common cards. Comes with a playmat to set up the battlefield, and it comes with a deck storage box so you can take your cards on the go. Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to unbox this thing. Now, these cards are like Battlecast cards. They are AR cards. So if you're familiar with how Battlecast works, that is how this works as well. So I'm not going to be able to show you um, specific cards up close and personal. Uh, first up, here's the deck box. We can see that it's kind of, it's flat. And what you can do is you can, whoa, there's the trading shield, much like in Battlecast where it had a, a sleeve you could put your stuff in uh, to hide the borders. Here is, of course, like I was saying though, the deck box, it kind of just slides out and opens up like that. And you just pop in these little flaps. Let me construct it real quick. You just pop these little flaps in. You can fold this tab in like that. And I assume you can write your name right there. And then on the top, um, you can do the same thing. Or I guess you could write the deck name, whatever. So yeah, there is the deck box. It's actually a nice little box. It's kind of small, but it's the decks are not as big as some other trading card games like Magic the Gathering. There's a little bit of artwork on the back as well. Um, and of course, uh, characters on the front. So, all right, there's that. Here's the trading shield. We can see on the back um, that it's like this. I actually thought they were themed to the deck. I think there's different colored trading shields, so I'm not sure um, if that is the case because I would have thought that the one with the astral deck would have been yellow. So I'm not really sure. So let me see what else is in this box. Here is, of course, though, here is the booster pack. The booster pack is going to just be like any other booster pack and it's going to have some cards in there. Um, there are also some foil cards. So we'll open this up here in a minute and we'll see what we get out of it. Um, so here is a little punch out character. This can be used to mark your health on the play map. I do know that much about the game. So let me just punch this thing out real quick. I don't know how durable it is. Uh, it's kind of like card stocky. Um, and then of course here is the base. It does come with a tribute card, and let me get this little trading shield out to show you guys the card, and I will show you a few of the other cards here in just a minute. So here is the actual tribute card. It is foil, and it's 
you know, spoil. And uh, this one is the one where you will scan it in and you will claim it um, as your own in game and then your friends can scan it and it will just power up as it goes. Um, here is the back of the card. Right there, you can see it. The deck comes in this little tray, and then of course, here is the deck, but you can't see it yet. I'll show it to you in a second. So I'll be right back, and I will show you some select cards from the deck. All right, so I decided that the easiest way to do this would actually just be to go ahead and just kind of flash them on screen. So first up, we've got Orion. Now, Orion is the hero character of this deck, and he is, my understanding is he is sort of um, the the leader of the deck. He's the commander. We've got several combo cards. We've got, of course, the five combo attacks, and those are Stellar Fusion, Full Moon, Sunstrike, Solar Wind, and Planetary Alignment. Um, and then there's going to be a ton of other cards, I won't get into all of them, um, that are, of course, astrally aligned. And then at the very bottom of this deck, we can see that there are Kreeble Infiltrators, Sneaky Kreeble, and Umbron th Thieves. So, with that in mind, this deck comes with both astral and unaligned cards. Those unaligned cards can be used by heroes of any type, or commanders, sorry. No, heroes, that's right. Heroes is the right term. They can be used by heroes of any type. So, if we end up getting some um, unaligned cards in our booster pack, we'll be able to use those. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and, un and uh, open up the booster pack and kind of see what we get. Okay, so I can't actually show you the cards that we're getting out of here, but what I will do is I will go ahead and open up this booster pack, and I will, you'll get to hear my reactions live to me getting these cards out. So, let me actually open this thing up. This is, of course, the back of the cards, so you can't see anything from there, but you can kind of see, you know, how the booster pack itself will be opened. And here come the cards. So, I'm going to flash them up on screen as I read them. So, first up, we have... The hero of this booster pack, we have Crab Rider Nida, or Nida, not sure how to say that. Um, we also have another Sneaky Kreeble, so there is one of the unaligned cards. We have a Astral card, we have Mage Ship. I looked through the deck, there is some of these already in that deck, so um, there, I, there's that. We have a Mountain Order card called Crystal Bat. We have a Dread Order card called Shambler. We have a Nature Order card called Mantix Tunneler. We have a Tech Order card called Bombling. We have a, ooh, it's a Duel. So this one we could actually use in our deck because it is Astral and Nature. So it is called Night Hunt. And I really love the artwork on there. And we do get a foil card. We have Tontosian Blacksmith. So that is really, really cool that we get to actually have such a nice little variety of these cards. And these things, guys, they're very durable and they have a very interesting texture to them. Like, these things are not going to rip. They're not like they're made of paper or anything like that. Very durable, very high quality collectible trading cards. Now, I'm going to come, well, let me show you this real quick because this is actually the rule book for all of this, and it is quite extensive, and I can bet you that instead of reviewing for my test um, uh, next week, I'm going to be reading this um, probably, uh, yeah, lots and lots of cool stuff on here, um, and we'll have the, I'll have the playmat um, as well, uh, so it's got a lot of cool stuff on there, and let me show you that in just a second. All right, and there is the playmat. Unfortunately, there's a lot of glare on there, but um, I'll kind of break this down for you. So my current understanding is that this little thing right here is actually the, um, it's basically your health counter. Um, it determines the amount of health that your hero has. And that little punch out that I was trying to show you will go on here, and as your hero takes damage, it will move across the board. And my current understanding is that when you get to zero, you lose. Um, it's got a couple of little quick things on here. I won't get into what that says. Um, I'll let you find that out for yourselves when you guys buy this and take a look at it. But basically, it just is a quick reminder for um, how your turn plays out. Um, think that Light Seekers have some videos of their own kind of explaining how that works. Um, this is where your deck goes. This is where you discard your cards. This is where you put your heroes. And this is where I assume you put 
uh, buffs and stuff. It says items. So I'm not really sure what goes there. I'll have to read the entire rule book to figure that out. But, um... I'm definitely very interested to find out. And it does not actually have a back side. The first thing I did was I flipped it over to try to see um, where this little light seeker's watermark thing was coming from. I thought it was actually the other side kind of showing through, but it is actually an incredibly faint marking of light seekers. So it's actually kind of really cool how it's, it's very subtle, but it's still there. So yes, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. For this deck unboxing, I'm going to be doing a review sometime next week on this thing. I'm really excited to actually get my hands on it and take a nice look at it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. This has been Portal Master 9351 Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!